Asbury. Coach Asbury and Texas Southern suffered a loss to Sam Houston State by a score of 55-17. to This week they are on ESPNU at Jackson State for a 6.30 kickoff. Coach Asbury, are you with us? Yes, I am. Thank you, Coach. If you will, talk about your matchup last weekend against Sam Houston and talk about the battle this Thursday on TV, ESPNU with Jackson State. Well, I thought um, this past weekend I, I felt that our, our guys came out and, um, you know, we, we matched the intensity early in the first two quarters. Um, I thought the score does not really exemplify, uh, you know, the, the outcome of the game. But when you turn over, the, when you turn the football over, you know, four times, uh, two, I think it was two or three fumbles, um, and every turnover that we turned it over, uh, we it was like in the, the plus ten or plus five. So technically, they they never dro- drove the ball on our defense until about the third quarter, late in the third quarter. Um, I thought our defense played extremely well. Uh, special teams again played well, and when you turn the football over like that and you put your defense in a bad situation, you know, good football teams find a way to get points out of it, which they did. You know, they have a real good football team. But I was very impressed with where our defense played, and we just need to, offensively, we're struggling right now. We need to find our identity and, 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 and make some plays. All right, the floor is now open for head coach at Texas Southern, Darrell Asbury. Coach, this is Barry Allen, ESPN. Uh, looks like both teams are really had trouble hanging on to the football this year. They, they've had quite a number of turnovers, and you guys have had one pick for Saturday. How, how do you work on that, and what, what, how do you see the turnover battle deciding Thursday's game? Well, you know, it, it, it's, it's, that's a good question. You know, we're going to come back with this, we're going to do fumble drills. We're going to try to, uh, minimize the times that, that we're going to allow him to just sit back there in the pocket with the ball. Uh, you know, it's the things that we need to do, uh, and constantly rep him and, and, and stay in his ear about ball security. Um, our running backs have been doing a pretty good job, but, you know, he, he gave up one on, on Saturday. Um, and I'm, you know, just going over my stat sheet, you know, when you give up the ball on a, on a, and they only take two yards to go in and a six yard pass, or another one yard run, um, a five yard pass, you know, that, that just tells you right there. Um, if we don't, we don't turn the football over, uh, you know, the score could have easily, easily been about 27 to 17 or something, but, uh, you know, we're just going to keep working and keep drilling these guys to get better. Taking questions. Hi. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Hi, coach. This is Rosalyn Lyle at the Clarion Ledger in Jackson. Um, I'm interested to know about. You probably have played your former alma mater in previous years, but you know how is this year a little different as you take on your alma mater? Well, you know we we just got out of a meeting, and like I told the, the offensive staff, um, it doesn't feel like it felt last year. You know, it's 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 a it's a big game for us. But it's you know it's it's another game that we need to win. Um, you know I feel good about our football program. I, I see a team that's finally coming together a little bit. You know I, I, from the Prairie View game to the Sam Houston game, uh, we were sluggish. We were we were out of shape. Um, to the Sam Houston game, I saw an improvement with our conditioning. Uh, so you know this this game right now is just you know trying to get this football team better. Uh, we're not going to make this game about me or the coaches on the staff. You know, we, we just need a win for these kids in this university right now. Coach, it's Perry Allen again. What, what do you see from Jackson State offensively and defensively, particularly with Moore, such an adequate passer, and the two, two receivers they have? What, what, what do you have to do defensively to stop them, and what do you have to do on offense? Well, I think defensively we, we just need to make sure we can stop the run and don't give up the big play. If we can minimize the, the run game um, and, and don't give up the big play, 
with the deep balls, make them catch it underneath. I think we'll be fine. Uh, play aggressive football, uh, you know, and, and 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 when we get our opportunity to put pressure on him, we're gonna put some pressure on him and uh, try to make him get the ball out of his hand uh, quicker than the normal. Uh, I know defensively, you know, coach has been sound. You know, he's been been running that defense uh, for quite some time. He's he's real good at what he does over there. And, uh, you know, we just want to be able to control those rush ins and. If we can control those rush ins, uh, you know, do a do a good job of trying to, you know, get the get the run game going and uh, take what the defense allows us to have. Thank you. Do we have any more questions for Daryl Asbury, head football coach at Texas Southern? All right, Coach, we appreciate your time, and uh, we will talk to you. And you have a Thursday night game against uh, Jackson State, and uh, we will talk to you next Monday. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Bob. Thanks very much.